So we have our parts that were sent in to us to do an inspection and a report on. And so the first thing is our oil pump. On the outside, pump didn't look too bad. When I first pulled it apart, there was some scoring right here on the pressure side. And really didn't bother me too much. I mean, a little bit of a chunk there. I was planning on just polishing that until I found what had happened to the gears. And what we've got on this one is something has rolled through and it's actually pushed this gear over sideways. Um, so it's a fairly substantial piece right there where it's been chunked. Uh, same on the drive gear, the same spot here. It's got a decent chunk right there. Uh, not really comfortable reusing this gear set. I did loosely assemble it uh, just to feel it. And when I rotate this, I can definitely feel a tight spot there. Um, so what that's gonna do, it's gonna cause these gears to wanna press apart. Uh, in this instance, I would say replace, especially with this level of damage. So that's a oil pump. Uh, drive sleeve, really nothing to talk about there. It's clean. Splines are in good shape, uh, just had oil on it, slides on nicely, no problems. So our intermediate shaft, I've just done an initial wash on it and looking at it, I've pulled the, the plug on the back, I've still got to uh, measure everything and polish. Journals could use a slight polish, no scoring, haven't measured it yet, but that'll be kind of the next step. As far as my drive gears, they are kind of right there. I do feel some burring around them. The intermediate gear itself looks to be in good shape, no excessive pitting. Uh, I will sit it, I have an open case right now, I'll sit it in the case and just check the backlash against the crank that's in there. Uh, I believe this is a zero gear and I have a zero case over there. So I have our intermediate shaft in a case that we're doing right now for another customer and clearance should be 0.029 to 0 0.049, we're at 0 0.03, so backlash is good. I've already checked it in three different spots, and everything is the same. So our intermediate gear is good. We've just got to finish cleaning up the rest of the shaft. So after cleaning, and I compared our teeth right here to a new set, and a little bit of deburring, clean them up. These are just fine to go back into service. The other thing we have is chain tensioners. Now these are the pressure fed style. I've got one disassembled. I haven't disassembled the second one yet. Not a lot to do in these. One of the things we're looking at, uh, this is the check valve in the bottom. And we can see it's kind of accumulated quite a bit of scunge in there. Uh, when I clean these up, what I'm really trying to do is these are a calibrated fluid loss. So they're pressure fed with oil in here. It flows into this cavity, down out through here, through this check valve, and places uh, pressure against the piston. Now, this pressure doesn't actually hold the piston up. It's a dampening effect. So when the chain whips, this slows it down, just like a shock absorber does. Uh, the main thing that's holding our pressure against the chain is our spring. And of course, oil is having a difference there. So when I'm looking at these, what I'm looking for is condition of piston. I don't want to see any scoring up and down on it or any large ribs, the same down inside the ball. Uh, the piston needs to slide in and pretty much slide freely back and forth. Normally what I do with these is I'll just give them a light polish with Scotch-Brite. The other two areas we want to look at is on the check valves. So there's a little spring in here with a ball. These have a habit of cracking and breaking off. If that happens, then all your oil pressure goes up the top and you no longer have any oil dampening. And the same with the bottom one that I have out. Uh, I want to make sure that once I finish cleaning it up that I don't have any debris or any cracks around here that could impede the check valve. So far, nothing in the tension as I see is a big deal. Just got to be cleaned up, lightly oiled, and reassembled.